Good day, viewers. Welcome back to our chemistry class. Today is going to be the last class for our high impact nomenclature. And we are going to be looking at the third aspect, which is the radicals. We have discussed about the radicals before, which are the combination of two or more atoms to have a unique valency. How do we now get their names? Is what we are going to look at in, in today. So let's dive in. Example three. Give the IUPAC nomenclature of the following radicals. The first one, we have CO3 2 minus. Don't forget from our previous class, to get the IUPAC nomenclature of this, the center element is going to have an unknown letter. So we normally have three elements in a compound. But one element has been lost here. That is the reason why this is possessing a charge, which is two minus. So the element is supposed to be here. So carbon is still the center element. So we represent the carbon as, for, as a letter Y plus the valency of oxygen is minus two multiplied by three. Then this is going to equal to the charge on it, which is minus two. So here we have Y plus and minus minus two times three, Six is equal to minus two. So collect like times y will equal to minus two. When this minus six is coming here, changes to plus six. So y equals to minus two plus six. We have plus four. Now the way we normally name acid is the way we name a radical. So let's start from the back. So tri also carbonate for ion. Tri also carbonates for ion. The second one, NO3 minus, so the unknown is this nitrogen, X plus oxygen is minus two, multiplied by three, that equals to the charge on it, which is minus one. So X plus and one, my, plus and minus we have minus, two times three we have six, is equal to minus one, collect like terms, so we have X is equal to minus one yeah. plus six. So S equals to plus five. So the name will now be tri ozo nitrate five ion. Tri ozo nitrate five ion. The last one is HCO3. When look at this, definitely for this one to have a radical. Something has been lost here as well. Maybe this is two hydrogen. One has been lost. So the center element here is carbon. So the valency of hydrogen is plus one. Plus carbon is unknown. Let's call it X plus oxygen minus two multiplied by three is equal to minus one, which is the charge on it. So we have one plus X plus and minus minus two times three six is equal to minus one. Collect like terms. 1 minus 6 plus x equals to minus 1. 1 minus 6, we have minus 5 plus x is equals to minus 1. So collect like terms. So we have x is equals to minus 1. When minus 5 crosses, change to plus 5. So x is equals to plus 4. So the name becomes hydrogen tri ozo carbonate 4 ion. Hydrogen tri ozo carbonate 4 ion hydrogen tri ozo carbonate 4 ion so as i said earlier this is how to name inorganic salts now since we understand this now next class we are going to be looking at balancing of chemical equation this is a very important aspect in chemistry Without it, we are not a science student. So, by God's grace, we are going to meet in the class. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe in order to get my notification by pressing the bell beside. Thank you very much.